Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be speaking in this event on impact of metaverse on manufacturing industry. Thank you for the opportunity. Let me start with brief intro about me. I'm Lakshmi Murthy, co-founder and CEO of Niche Brains. Niche Brains connects leaders of small and medium enterprises to vetted independent consultants in the areas of supply chain, marketing, industry 4.0 technologies on demand to accelerate growth and transformation. I am an INSEAD alumni and lecturer of growth and transformation programs in INSEAD. I'm also a graduate from Singularity University. When people hear the word metaverse, nine out of 10 will associate metaverse with gaming, fun and social. But do you know BMW Group uses NVIDIA Omniverse design, a complete digital twin of their entire factory that can be used to simulate 31 factories of this. This approach will produce 30% more efficient planning process. Kawasaki has joined forces with Microsoft to build Metaverse using Microsoft HoloLens technologies to optimize production, repair, and general manufacturing operations. Boeing wants to build its next airplane in the Metaverse to minimize quality issues as they believe 70% of such issues trace back to design stage. My first experience of seeing virtual reality, one of the key pillars of Metaverse was when I saw the movie Disclosure in 1994. Michael Douglas wears gloves and a headset, and he walks through a digital library and access confidential design files. And Metaverse does have a huge impact on business and manufacturing industry sector is not an exception. My objective today is to share the impact of Metaverse in manufacturing industries and various possibilities it brings to the future. Metaverse is an amalgamation of the digital world in which physical augmented and virtual realities are converged. Metaverse can be thought of as a future of internet or the next iteration as such. Whatever we can do through internet today should be possible through the Metaverse with immersive experience, be it personal or in business applications. Metaverse combines the technologies like virtual realities, augmented realities, mixed reality, digital twins, artificial intelligence, and many more to reimagine the way we do business, engage with customers, design faster, better, and cheaper processes. It brings together real and digital worlds, and the experience is made more immersive through the use of VR and AR. So essentially, there are three realms of metaverse or three categories of innovation in the metaverse. Consumer, commercial, and the industrial metaverse. The consumer metaverse is most likely the one that we are almost all familiar with. It's the notion of bringing avatars to life for more socially immersive experience or developing new kinds of entertainments through enriched gaming environments. The commercial metaverse is all about taking the same kind of immersive experience <clears throat> and bringing them to the world of work. With mixed reality capabilities, the commercial metaverse will redefine how we collaborate as a society and it will help generate new ideas faster, more efficient, effectively than ever before. Now, what is industrial metaverse? Industrial metaverse has a capacity to represent each part of the real world system in a virtual inter, uh, environment and can accelerate digital transformation in industries. Industrial metaverse enables creation of digital twins of places, processes, and the real world objects and will, and will allow organizations to effectively monitor the complex systems in real time, analyze them, and interact with them. When we can integrate the physical and digital world and provide immersive experiences, new possibilities emerge. Let me give a couple of examples to illustrate this. Let's think about an annual report for a company. If you are reading an annual report, you may browse it on a paper, or you may even go through online and then you know, click it on, this, on the reports. But what if, if you could actually walk into a boardroom in Metaverse where you interact with the board of directors and the chairman and they explain, they present it to you and you can also interact with them and also ask them questions where in real time you get answers. Or think about a worker using a digital twin virtually to analyze their manufacturing plant and efficiency and then putting on an augmented reality headset and going out and changing the operating characteristics of the plant in real time and going back and forth to get the best out of the manufacturing plant. So before we dive deep into this industrial metaverse applications, it'll be good time to spend a few minutes of evolution of manufacturing industry and the various transformation it went through over the last few centuries and various industrial revolutions as such. 
So in a time before industrialization, skilled artisans uh, worked on their own to produce commodities. They even brought on assistants who were trained through apprenticeship and often their work was protected through a girl system. The purpose was to guard the secrets before the, you know, behind their craftsmanship. In the early days of craft production, enterprising artisans soon realized that they could make more money by subcontracting work to others. In a pre-industrial era, this often meant products being produced in rural areas to supplement their agricultural workers' income. Irrespective of the time it was, efficiency, cost, delivery times are the key needs and they were the same even today. But when we really see over the centuries how these you know, craft manufacturing has uh, transformed where, through various industrial you know, revolutions from mechanization, mass production, and computer automation, and what we call it as raised digital technologies like cyber physical systems, the complexity of the manufacturing also increased. And this is also further compounded by the growth needs, the globalizations, changing customer preferences, technology advancements, and other factors. If you just take an automotive manufacturing where the focus was on manufacturing single product at high volume to today where car assemblies are equipped to manufacture personalized cars at a large scale. But what is also important to note that while these transformations are nothing new, but every transformation has also brought in a lot of changes with them. They are like cost shock. Things become cheaper and better and also with this new technologies, demand for new capabilities are you know, <clears throat> is needed. There is new business models changes and also industry structure also changes with new player coming into the picture. Keeping this in mind, with current industry 4.0 focuses on internet of things and transforming the organization digitally, which is already gaining a mainstream adoption in the last few years, we can call the next industry 5.0 or digital transformation 2.0 will leverage these technologies which is already existing and on top of which metaverse can be applied by which we can one can reimagine the customer engagements product design building uh, you know, and operating the business at the crossroad of physical and virtual you know, world and this time is not in the future but it's here and now or Possibly is it just a hype? Let's take a moment to analyze. Now, clearly, these are some of the buzzwords over a period of last 30, 40 years we have been hearing. It all started possibly with ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, was the buzzword in the early 90s. And we can see today that it got adapted by many large organizations to integrate various their business functions. On top of which, what we call it as SMAC, which is Social, Mobile, Analytics, and Cloudware in the late era. I know, 2000s and it's getting mainstream eruption as we speak and digital transformation which was a buzzword somewhere in 2015 and now digital transformation is not new anymore but majority of many organizations understand the needs to reimagine their business process and also modernize their factories uh, connecting both their information technology systems with their operation technology systems while these technology sounds like buzzwords initially but by leveraging these technologies for the right business objectives and the goals in mind, various businesses benefited immensely. Each technology adoption leads to new technologies evolving. However, to access if metaverse is truly not a buzzword for a business, what we can possibly do is that let's take a step back and look at it from a strategic framework point of view and see that how metaverse can add value. So, what is strategy? Strategy is always about being fit, being fit with changing external business environment. So in terms of creating new value propositions are a, where the customers are willing to pay more and at the same time getting the you know, uh, results at a much lesser cost by acquiring new capabilities or possibly partner with people who have you know, new capabilities as well. So it's all about you know, building uh, new cre value creation possibilities and in line with changing external business. Now, in this context, when we really look at metaverse, what what is the things that are changing in the manufacturing environment? As we can see that there are rapid advancements in uh, manufacturing have increased complexity of design and development processes. And this has further increased costs associated with manufacturing. <clears throat> 
organization have globally dispersed uh, teams and working together become a costly affair. In the last few years, definitely travel restrictions force people not to be able to work together as well. Increased complexities results in you know, high risk of failure and there is no easy way to simulate results before large scale manufacturing can be taken up. This possibly results in poor product quality and recalls as well. And what the customers value in this, you know, have to build a new kind of value proposition, which is like faster personalization of products and faster time to respond to the changing need of the customers and high production quality. And that need to be, can be possible only when we are able to have a faster collaboration and the ability for simulate and pilot faster and within these constraints being existing as well. So Metaverse has the possibility by bringing together physical and virtual world, provides new ways to solve these problems and create new opportunities. And that's where the digital transformation, which has already started to gain mainstream adoption with immersive experience through Metaverse can add value. So at its most basic, the Metaverse will have three features like a sense of emotion, a real-time interactions, Ultimately, the full version possibly can give you know, interoperability across the platforms and devices and concurrency with thousands of people interacting simultaneously and use cases spanning human activity well beyond gaming as such. So organizations that have complex manufacturing processes, hazardous facilities, dispersed geographical locations, variety of products, mix and volume can hugely benefit by adapting metaverse solutions to start with over the next 10 years. Of course, there are some areas where smaller organizations already started benefiting, but these technologies will also find <clears throat> adoption in smaller organization as the, they evolve like the way each industrial you know, evolution brought in new technologies as well. So let's look at with this kind of a context and then understanding that uh, Metaverse will have a key role to play in the of coming years to differentiate, to be relevant in the manufacturing industry. So what are the applications or the core components to start with on the metaverse? So the metaverse is a set of technology as we discussed. It, it's basically you know, allows persistent digital representation to be connected to the aspects of the real world, such as people, places, and things. It adds more layers of augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality that allow one to immerse in a virtual environment called digital twin, blending physical and virtual world. So digital twin <coughs> is a main pillar of industrial twin, uh, you know, supported by AR, VR, and mixed reality deployed on the cloud. And decision-making made easy through artificial intelligence and operations executed through robots. Digital twins where real objects are represented in the metaverse. Digital twin technology will evolve towards wider deployments and deeper operations in response to the growth of metaverse and the increasing sophistication of the digital simulations used to create its product. Therefore, the corresponding digital twin technologies will also start to appear on the markets as well. Industrial metaverse market will reach 540 billion by 2025 as companies begin to take advantage of various new tools and it's expected to cross trillion dollars before end of 2030. Metaverse use cases can be seen across the value chain of manufacturing. In fact, hundreds of customers leveraging these capabilities in one way or the other already. And especially the digital twins brings realism to the digital world, combining the virtual manufacturing simulations with real life learnings, helping, for example, to identify the best materials and manufacturers to you know, optimize the cost and environment impact of a product. Feeding systematically collected data on a range of issues into a connected workflow, particularly you know, enhanced with artificial intelligence insights, means a learning from production defects or product uses can be utilized to improve future parts and help these learning be accessible to a lot of teams and skill sets. So imagine that entire value chain is connected and information flow is orchestrated in real time where one can don't have to wait and there is no time lag as such. So with this, what are the application areas today? It Now, as we said that you know, uh, Metaverse has different use cases across the value chain of a manufacturing industries. And we can broadly you know, categorize this into a design, manufacturing, supply chain, training, and support. So from the design aspects of it, development of digital twin Metaverse can provide new avenues for engineers and designers to evaluate their final product and understand the state of product 
during the intermediate manufacturing step, steps. With engineers able to augment the physical world's design and testing with the powers of digital twin insights on a product's what if characteristics and behavior. This will include like, what if a one material change to another material, what kind of an impact will be there? Or what if we change the shape of it, how much kind of a fuel we can save or what kind of a savings is possible? These are things which possibly it's not possible in the, you know, in the past is can be made possible with digital twins and metaverse technologies. So also these kind of you know, uh, uh, discussions and these kind of innovation discussions has to happen across cross-functional teams, dispersed across from different disciplines and you know, they need, they all need to come together. And with metaverse, one can start to work from their home and discuss all these kind of design challenges virtually with an in-person experience, thus reducing the kind of a travel across the world or you know, kind of discuss, uh, you know, eliminate the need to travel and also at the same time gain the same kind of an immersive experience as well. And once they finish this design, they can always go back and then you know, take their kids to their soccer game or take your take their wife to or spouse to um, uh, a romantic dinner. So the possibilities are immersive. Now, now think of it like you no know, pilot getting a real-time data on aircraft performance through JET's dashboard and alarms when issues may arise or a kind of a, a smart glass type augmented reality giving predictive maintenance alerts or machines nearing their end of life. So every you no, know, it's not just the design stage, the the, the engineers or the R and D team gets the alerts, but also how the product is used. Is it getting used as it was intended to be designed as well. So these kind of inputs can have help in terms of modifying any defects at the early stages itself and thus improving the overall quality of the product at the source. The next use case is on manufacturing. Manufacturing in the metaverse will allow all production teams to monitor their virtual assembly line and analyze as if the new product designs will work you know, according to the current manufacturing layout, equipments, and quality assurance procedures. And this can reduce manufacturing costs and other associated costs of actual trial runs and physical testing as well. And if manufacturing teams embrace and build a metaverse that works for them, they will achieve greater productivity working both alone as well as together because they can access more and better information easily and instinctively. And with respect to supply chain, metaverse can enhance the effectiveness of supply chain management, attributing to increasing the ability of uh, uh, metaverse-based technologies to improve supply chain transparency, enhance communications and interaction within and across the supply chain. And add that to a blockchain technologies can be used to match suppliers and consumers and improvements, uh, improve payment through smart contracts and availability of real-time data in the blockchain to provide insights into the state of product in the production life cycle. So this kind of visibility, transparency, enhances the trust and also incorporates any changes during the process of you know, uh, design stage or usage as well. And the next use case we can think about it is, which is also slowly getting mainstream adoptions are training and building new capabilities. Manufacturers can also leverage virtual production lines to teach and educate new staff or personnel about remote maintenance and machinery control through the metaverse applications. And this future definitely is expected to boost adoption of metaverse technologies across various end use industries going ahead. Several companies basically have started training employees on how to use and maintain equipment using VR headsets rather than having them use a physical equipment, which basically helps in terms of you know, where it can be dangerous or difficult to use those actual equipments. And also immersive learning you know, gives a kind of a fun element and also people get you know, involved in the, in, the, you know, uh, in, the, in the in the classrooms instead of you know, having a monologues in the classroom training. And trainees can also make mistakes in the virtual you know, uh, environment without real world consequences. And the other use cases support and maintenance like the training scenarios for a few new frontline workers, field service personnel and technicians can also get help with equipment manufacturing and support to AR, VR and mixed reality technologies. Especially during the pandemic, when teams from all over the world were limited by travel restrictions and health issues were, and were unable to visit in person, remote assistance was provided with VR and mixed realities. Many companies are exploring using augmented reality with devices they already have, including smartphones and tablets. The pandemic have accelerated the adoption of artificial augmented reality and virtual reality technology by many companies as well. So the intersection lies in 
Till now, these technologies were used in isolation, but as we go forward, Metaverse kind of combines all these existing technologies and brings in a brings in a new age experience. Now, some of let's let's look at this how these uh, you know, different use cases are used by some of the clients already. So I've taken a few examples, but there are so many other organizations that are already started using Metaverse applications. So BMW groups uses NVIDIA Omniverse to design a complete digital pen of an entire factory that can be used to simulate 31 factories of that. All elements of the complete factory model, including the accessories, robots, and the buildings, assembly parts, can be simulated to support a wide variety of AI-enabled use cases, such as virtual factory planning, autonomous robots, predictive maintenance, and big data analytics. The digital twin approach will produce 30% more efficient planning processes, it's a game changer for them. Next example is Equinar is committed to having 20,000 employees that operate across 30 countries bring forward a net zero energy ecosystem by year 2050. They are using industrial metaverse to design their products and simulate their effectiveness before they implement them in the physical world. The goal is to operate a virtual one farms before it being built. Boeing wants to build its next aeroplane in the metaverse. Boeing's strategy to unify sprawling design, production, and airline services operations under a single digital ecosystem in next two years. It, as announced in December 2021, uh, it also aims to prevent future manufacturing problems that basically they had faced in the past, you know, past their releases as well. So these digital twins stitch together every piece of information about the app from its infancy, from airline requirements to millions of parts to thousands of pages of certification documents expanding deep into the supply chain. So as per Boeing, more than 70% of the quality issues at Boeing trace back to some kind of a design issues. And these tools will be central to bringing this new aircraft without any quality issues to market in a very short time period. These are only few sample use you know, applications uh, which are used by customers, but there are many companies which are already adapting, like Benz, Coca Cola, using those applications across their value chain and reaping their benefit. So, how to approach metaverse initiatives? The mantra for metaverse initiatives is that you got to think big, start small, and scale fast. So, one needs to develop a value focused strategic stance in two steps. This was basically adapted from McKinsey's value creation and metaverse report. So basically define your metaverse goals, such as whether you want to generate a demand across existing and new segments or build communities and create new revenue streams. And determine what is that role that you want to play in that kind of a value chain by building the experience to facilitating uh, interactions or enabling the infrastructure. And the next stage is basically to test, learn, and adapt in quick steps. So, and finally, once these you know, pilots are successful, prepare to scale fast. And what are the scaling capabilities are needed? And bring those capabilities either through in-house or you know, acquire through collaborations and embed these things in you know, metaverse in your business strategy and operating model and clearly identifying how your organization will be in the future. So keeping these in mind, what is the future of metaverse? One thing for sure in manufacturing, there is automation is already having hugely impacting manufacturing, but a model without a man and machines managing end to end may bring in an era of complete lights out manufacturing, which is machines operating as they are programmed to complete their tasks, even with nobody, you know, is there or what we call it as even with no lights being on. The advancement and maturity of various automated machines and robots and a complete and established manufacturing operation management software makes lights out practice possible. Since the software can manage automated manufacturing processes without any assistance, it also offers the visibility into self-produced goods. Moreover, human stakeholders can monitor lights out operations from a distance and receive warnings to do additional tasks or interventions. Robots can identify what, where this, you know, where the design changes are required or the feedback from the customers are incorporated or you know, provide a lot of uh, other prescriptive recommendations as to what can do. And also robots can also order parts and then interact with the other supply chains, you know, uh, and uh, get get the products as and when they need it as well. So sometimes what can also, it can also need not be a complete lights out manufacturing situation. And also they can also benefit of what we call it as a light sparse environment where the dark factory model is limited by the specific areas. So it has the best of both worlds as well. So these were 
<clears throat> this is where the metaverse application can play an important role and bring in the benefits of low production cost, refining the environment footprint and reduction of waste, enhanced productivity and increased product quality and eliminate labor shortage challenges, which is evident in many parts of the world. In summary, the industrial metaverse is a lot closer than many people think. While Gartner has metaverse at a 10 plus year horizon, uh, in the last 2022 new tech hype cycle, but many industrial companies we are seeing who already are well down the path faster. The industrial metaverse is being enabled by the convergence of many technologies, the key enabler being digital twin technologies. The real value of all this is in the simulation and may provide not just a disruptive recommendation, but also prescriptive recommendation to help create exponential value for the organizations. Over the past year is that a lot of companies and brands have begun to dip their toes in the metaverse. Maybe it was a marketing effect or possibly, you know, they are taking a step back and asking, does it really, you know, mean anything for our business? And, or maybe, you know, think about waiting and to have a clear strategy, wait and watch, but you no know, testing this option. But it can also be, might be too late if the, initiatives are not started earlier in at least in a you know, pilot stage. But above all, what's important is successful organizations and leaders are those who can analyze these so-called buzzwords or new trends and technologies in the context of their business environment and the specific customer needs and the problems to be solved and leverage them for their exponential growth. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak in this conference. And I hope that I was able to share some of my views on the metaverse's impact on the manufacturing industries. I'll be happy to you know, share further views and answer any questions. Thank you.